Hi, I'm Taryn Hobbs and I'm sitting in Cedars Park in an area now known as the Great War Centennial Corner and um, the tank behind me is uh, a, film, a film replica but it represents really a Mark IV tank and um, it's been donated to the park by a film company and we've also had uh, just before Christmas a Tommy and Tommy's over there, eight foot high, which is a brilliant representat representation of a rifleman. And uh, I'm sitting on a memorial bench, and this, these were produced for the 100th anniversary of the Great War. And I think this is possibly one of the only parts in Great Britain where you have a tank on the original presentation plinth, and we have an eight foot Tommy. So we have a real centennial corner for the Great War. At the beginning of the Great War, uh, uh, when trench, when the trenches had been established and uh, the losses for the infantry were getting quite uh, intense, shall we say, um, Caterpillar track manufacturers in Britain uh, gave a presentation of vehicles with Caterpillar tracks on as a means of uh, a breaking out of the trench system uh, going towards the German lines um, with, with an armoured vehicle. It wasn't called the tank then. Uh, the army weren't really interested, but Churchill, Winston Churchill was at that presentation at, at, uh, in Horse Guards Parade, and he could see the potential for it, and he pursued it as the first sea lord under the Navy. If he hadn't have done that, the history of the tank would not have evolved as it has, especially in the Great War, with the success it gave us eventually in driving the Germans back. The county of Hertfordshire became very important in the development of the tank, as the Marquis of Salisbury at Hatfield House um, offered his grounds to Churchill to test the tank and the 3rd mid Hearts Battalion did the trench work and the obstacles to really test if a caterpillar vehicle would prove useful on the battlefield. This film studio replica is of a Mark IV tank and it's very, very good. It's a male Mark IV because it has six pounder cannons as well as the Hotchkiss machine gun and other machine guns. The eight-foot statue of a Tommy behind me is of a rifleman of the Rifle Brigade and they were chosen for their ability to be good shooters, basically. It is quite a good choice for Hertfordshire being one of the home counties and near London because the Queen Victoria Rifle Brigade was one of the main rifle brigades in the British Army. I hope this snippet of information about the Great War Centennial Corner in Cedars Park has been of interest to you. Please come and visit the park because I think it's quite unique.